change is inevitable. It is what we want. It is the only thing that gives us what we want. And it is the thing that we resist the most. Because when we come into the world, we have to change to become who we're meant to be or, or grow to or evolve to or whatever that might be. And then we understand that then the world needs to do the same thing. But we don't always do that. Sometimes we get stuck and we are not moving. We don't understand why. But the universe keeps changing and we're sitting in the same place and wondering, why is that? It's because you were unwilling to change. And the only reason you would change or want to change is because you know that it's going to bring you something better. And something better is always you. It is always you accepting the next portion, the next version of who you are meant to become, because every single human is meant to evolve, to ascend, to become more, because it's within them. That's why they have a life. But we don't always do that if we're still holding on to the old stuff. But we might hold on to it in our individual lives, but we could also hold on to it in the world. And that's what I discovered. So that's why I can say I was given a philosophy that could change your life and our world. Because the only difficulty that you would have in your life is not understanding your importance, not knowing your life purpose, why you're on this earth, what you were meant to do, not being given permission to do that or feel that you could do it. That's what causes you to feel um, less than confident or feeling like you're lost, which never happens because you always have direction. And when you hear these things about you have a divine plan, that probably sounds really ridiculous, or that doesn't mean anything, or you're not a religious person, or something like that, except I will tell you that it's true, because there's an organization in the universe, meaning you. We come to understand over time that everything is arranged energetically in our universe, and we react to it in different ways. We react to it emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Now, the spiritual part is one that not a lot of people will go to, because that's not real. That doesn't mean anything. We don't know what that means. Or we will hang out in our religions, and then we will say, that's the only place we can be, and let's just hang out there, and let's just stay there. I'm talking about the world because that is something of what's going on occurring now. And I know this because I receive different information. And when I say I was given a philosophy, it's from all the work that I've downloaded and I received from Wilhelm for more than 35 years. And it's cosmic guidance, it's universal guidance, so it works for everyone. And I can say that because it worked, I can see it. I've seen it over and over again, and I see it within myself. But guess what? We don't always do it. We know exactly what to do, but then we don't. That's because you have to take into consideration you're operating with your human brain, which has been programmed. But we know now that there is a way to change that. We understand neuroscience. We understand all of that. But applying it becomes something that maybe we are not willing to do, or maybe we didn't have a way. Well, I created a way because I had to live it, you see. And this is why I can say to you, you can accomplish anything. We can change anything. I know that because I've done it. When I first started talking about this, um, I'm going to show you one message that came through uh, uh, last year, but I want to tell you this so that you understand. As we're, you're looking at your life or looking at the world and you're thinking things are going chaotic, it's just, this is uncomfortable. It is not that. It is that you are here because there's something more for you to do. That's all. And sometimes the pressure the fear will cause you to do that. I understand that really well. Also, because I lived with fear my entire life, which is why I wrote the book, Overcoming Fear, A Guide to Freedom, because that is where you gain the freedom. Because the freedom only exists in your consciousness. It has nothing to do with anyone else, not your family, not your spouses, your kids, nothing. It's just about you. That is your soul. And you had a journey that you were meant to live. And if you become that person, then the world changes. Because see, we're all creating it equally. No one person is doing it. Except over time, over civilizations, we don't understand the importance that we have because other people thought they had more of it and convinced you you didn't have it. That's what goes on. It's gone on throughout time. And I've written so many articles on that because I wanted more to understand what was happening. However, this is a very different time. We've never done this. 
We've never moved through a period like this as to why it's so stressful. But when you understand that it's all energy, you can kind of relax a little bit because then you stop resisting the changes that you're being offered because that's all that's going on. Are we going to move to a higher state of understanding of ourselves and of others? Or are we going to stay angry and hate and, and hatred and anger, which is usually directed at ourselves first? That's what you'll discover. I'm going to read you this message because it kind of brings a lot together that will you will understand. But, the, but I want you to get this, though, because I'm going to start talking about this a lot more. We can develop things in our lives that we that surprise us, basically, and that's exactly what's happened for me, and I want you to understand it. When I started receiving Wilhelm in 1989, I had no clue as to what it was going to turn into. I didn't even know why I was saving the messages every day because it didn't seem to make sense. And then I discovered that it turned into a philosophy and it's all connected energetically to what's happening in the world. Yeah, that was really a bit too much for me to understand and accept and to tell others. That's that's all that happens. We hide from ourselves. Even when I had the results, because this is what I'm going to start doing now, because I'm making a new, new trek now, because I have to put this work together, because I've healed so many things, and I need others to understand what you can do. And I want our world to understand the same thing. When I received all of this work from Wilhelm, they told us everything that was going to be happening. If you were to listen to a, a video, any of the sessions, the older sessions, you'll hear it all. They said the United States would move through the biggest transition, that we were going to have a lot of chaos, that women, especially women of color and uh, black women and all of that would need to really kind of become more empowered and men would need to embrace more the feminine energy because we've been living centuries and centuries with male dominant and everything. And so that's not going to be aid a sustaining society. And so you're here to change that. See, because what happens is when you start to own who you are as a human, as a soul that came into the world with worth and purpose, you start saying that to everyone else and then your life changes and the energetic composition of our world shifts. This is all science, and I'm going to talk about that, too, because if you study a of them in the quantum sciences, um, the field, so to speak, you'll understand that that is true. Everything is consciousness. But here's the message. And it came through on November 14th of last year. You will never be the same. And when you stop denying who you are, you will be better. You are moving through a dynamic, energetic shifts on your planet occurring within you. Some of you, uh, some of them may surprise you as they emerge, which they did, our messenger, during our live conversation yesterday. But if you integrate the information we provided on this day in 2012, your restructuring and that of your world will be accelerated. November 14th, 2012. Denial can be a, a precious tool to use as you strive for expansion. <laughs> Denial as it is being used here means your desires that you prevent yourself from having through your own thoughts, deeds, actions, and words. You will deny certain relationships because on some level you have accepted you do not deserve them. You will deny yourself abundance by unconsciously wasting that abundance you receive or allow to come to you. When you become willing to acknowledge and notice the times you practice denial, you can make new choices. None of this involves judgment, but merely choice. And um, as you can see, that message came through for me the 2012 and 2012. I didn't understand what it meant. I wasn't doing it because we live in different dimensions of consciousness. I just happened to receive this information while I was communicating with Wilhelm. That's all. And so, and it is a little different because um, it's it was aligned with this particular change that we're moving through in our world, which Wilhelm called our restructuring. And all the instructions were there. Everything from um, 2021, when I first started doing the live channeling sessions, you will hear that everything that's occurring, we were told, 
and, and to move and to do that thing. The way we change everything is deciding to become our next version because you have it. Everyone does. And the one thing that I wasn't going to do was 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 channeling. And now it's turned into the most meaningful and enjoyable thing that I can do, which I'm doing one on Friday because we have a, a full moon coming up, which is super full moon. So it's going to be a lot more powerful and it's all energy. But the fact is you exist at this time to do something wonderful and it's within you. And I know that. And I found it with every person that I've worked with. Now, the funny thing is about that message I just read to you from 2012, I had a channeling session, a private channeling session with someone, and that was their birthday. And as I gave that, gave them the reading, and I, Wilhelm was giving them the message, and they're denying it. That's exactly what happened. They kept asking for, is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? Is this going? And Wilhelm says, we don't do that. You have free will. You have guidance. All we do is just guide you there. And that's exactly what this work does. It just guides you to who you're supposed to be so that you're no longer dependent on everything else outside of you. But it, sometimes we won't do that like that person. They just denied what they knew. And Wilhelm knew that and kept saying it to them. And you might have done the same thing. But this could be the time that you are willing to embrace who you are, become your authentic self, and then change the world. I'm saying that because we all have the ability to do that because it, it's only energy. It's just that our consciousness has not accepted our importance and how much we can use that consciousness to affect change in our lives, but also in the world. But don't worry, because now I have the philosophy. See you soon. Check out everything on my, on my page, on my um, website, and please subscribe to the channel if it, this is your first time because you will get so much more information because I'm so willing to give it to you now. See you soon.